Hey everyone, we're Indie Game Dev Bros and we've just finished creating a small video game in Unity. And this is how we did it. So this was day one of our creative journey. Noah and I were trying to come up with a small and fun game idea. We quickly settled on a cute turn-by-turn -turn game of warfare and strategy where two factions would battle on squishy islands. So at this point, I was prototyping the main mechanics in C Sharp using simple shapes. So I put into place the turn-by-turn -turn system and the ability for the player to move his troops. In the meantime, I worked on the art using Photoshop. Started to work on the first battlefield using a simple grass picture for texture. I sliced each individual tile, which I then assembled in Unity. Then I created a C and added a nice shader to make it ripple. With the power of Unity Collab, I could take Liam's code and replace the ugly graphics with the ones I just made. To kickstart day two, like our days at Blackthorn Prods, we wake up at around 7 o'clock. First thing we do is to hit a great bodyweight workout. And then we hungrily head to the kitchen and satisfy our great appetites. Feeling fueled, we walk to the office ready for a good day of game creation. So it's the end of day two and we made some, some really nice progress. We've got a, a minimum battle product and it's working really nicely. We look really forward to expanding on it in the next couple of days. Uh, the core today, I would say, was the attacking system, putting all that into place. Just to make sure we're on the same page, here are the basic rules of the game. The goal is to conquer the opponent's castle by moving your troops on its tile. You can move troops between Aegis and friendly tiles or attack enemy ones. The more troops you have compared to your foe, the greater the odds of winning. Excellent. Today we added Empire Upgrades, which are small buildings you can buy to either get more troops or action points, which are used to move and attack. So how was the meeting with the musician? Just had a, a little meeting out with Milan. That's right, we got into contact with music composer Milan, who agrees to help us with our little project by composing its very own soundtrack. A uh, really cool guy, and he's gonna create a little soundtrack for for our game, untitled for now. We're gonna think of a title for the game, but yeah, got that underway, and everything's moving really fast, and it's exciting. So, guys, this morning, Thursday, we've added the new feature for a little strategy game, and that's areas of conflict. So, these are really cool uh, territories, basically, you want to control because they give you a bonus. For example, uh, the towers give you a plus one action point and the little villages give you plus three troops to place at the end of your turn. So it creates more areas of conflicts than just the villages, uh, I mean, than just the castles. You've got all these areas of conflict that you kind of want to control. So what are you listening to now? I'm listening to the uh, new music from Milan, the composer uh, on the project, and he's made some like, beautiful little uh, soundtrack for the game. Really like it. <laughs> maps for the game, for the world, an ice one and a desert map, and then I'm really working on the sound effects uh, for the game, There's also uh, new units, artwork to create. Since Noah finished Dashing Fire, his big project, which you can now play on Steam, links in the description, we wanted to create a few small games in under 7 days to experiment, improve our teamwork and have fun, this one being the first. On day 5, despite having not finished work on the second or first map, we got cracking on the third, wanting to have them all up and running before polishing everything up. While Liam assembled the map and got all the mechanics and code to work, I busied myself making art for the units. Each map has two unique factions, and each faction has four unit graphics. This is simply to represent the varying power of the player's armies. You might have noticed that every map feels alive and buzzing with movement. There are a few animations, but mostly this extra life was thanks to the all-in-one shader asset pack I found in the Unity Asset Store. For example, the rippling water, the units that wobble a little, and UI that buzzes with energy. This was of course a real time saver, with just a few sliders to tweak for satisfying results. We also added sound effects to our little world with the help of Milan. So small pop-ups when we hover over units, menus, the clash of swords when in combat, 
This makes the game more satisfying to play and interact with. On the sixth and final day, we worked on more polish. I created a level selection menu and a mini tutorial. Liam fixed little bugs. Not to forget the title screen and scene transitions. We ended up calling the game Squabbles, since anything more epic, violent, or bloodthirsty wouldn't go with the cartoony, colourful artwork. Our little indie game, Squabbles, has just been completed. A little strategy game, you know, the title scene will work like crazy. Me and Liam on this game for six days straight, and I'm really proud of the end result. Really, I think it's, it's a funky little game. If you have a willing friend or family member to try the game out with, please do and let us know what you think. If you also want to create video games, then you can learn how to do so with our game creation courses on Udemy. We teach you how to use Unity, program in C Sharp, and make game art and animations. The link to all four courses are in the description. If you're a complete beginner, then you'll want to pick up this course. If you have some experience, the top-down shooter, strategy, or platformer courses will be neat learning experiences. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video on the making of squabbles. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, it will help us a lot. We want to make lots of small projects like these before working on a bigger Steam project, so stay tuned for more videos alike. Cheers!